welcome to stage 2 of the 2016 Tour de France. Mark Cavendish will parade the, with the yellow jersey for the first time in his life during stage 2. He, will, he said he'll respect this iconic symbol of cycling, but he's likely to lose it in the uphill finish that is too steep for sprinters of his type, his type being heavy, powerful sprinters. Still in La Mancha and near the English Channel. It shouldn't be too windy though. Most of the course is protected but there's a short section of that is exposed to the sea just before the city of Cherbourg in Cotinin. And if there's a strong crosswind here it could lead to splits in the peloton and bearing in mind that these splits in the peloton could come within the last 20 kilometers of the day stage. The very end of the stage is really hard. The Côte de Glaciere is 3 kilometers long running up to the finish line and with a maximum gradient of 14%. It is definitely the domain of the explosive punches so expect Alejandro Valverde, Julian Alaphilippe, Greg von Avermet, Peter Sagan, Alexis Wiedemoz and not to mention Spartacus Fabian Cancellara to be in in the reckoning as the race pitches up towards the finish line. But there's yet another favourite, even though he's been quiet so far this year, and that is Joaquim Puerto Rodriguez, who sees this stage as his only chance of potentially getting the yellow jersey, after he's already worn the pink jersey of the Giro d'Italia, the red jersey of the Vuelta España as well as the Jersey de Oro which was the leader jersey colour back in 2003 also at the Vuelta España. Cavendish's old dream eventually made true might add to his motivation as another veteran in the peloton. Personally I predict a sprint finish between Valverde, Sagan and Cancellara with Sagan taking yellow away from Cavendish. That's it as far as my predictions for stage 2 of the 2016 Tour de France are concerned. Uh, remember to click like, share or subscribe and post any comments, questions or criticisms that you may have in the comment section down below. And last but by no means least, remember to stay carved up for the win and I'll see you next time. Cheers.